Hi everyone, Budget Stark here. Thanks again for tuning in. Today's video, we are going to be checking out the King Arts Diecast 1 in 9th scale Mark 45. Obviously, we will be looking at this compared to the Hot Toys Mark 45 that was released earlier on in 2016. The reason why I want to show you this in particular is that there are actually quite significant differences between this King Arts version and the Hot Toys version. Both have advantages, disadvantages, things different about it. I thought you guys can just have a sneak peek and find out which one you prefer, what you think of these differences, and go from there. So, Art Box, the usual standard thing that we're all kind of used to seeing from King Arts. This light up base, which I think is one of the nicest designs because the light up feature is super bright. You see that? Very, very bright. And the great design feature here, if you want to use the poles for the flight stand or the normal stand, it comes out of the back and you can hide it when not in use. Here are the two stands that you get. This is the shorter pole, which is the standing pole. The flight pole, obviously longer. You get the clamp. A couple of tools to help you insert the batteries, tweezers, and the set of batteries. If we go through the accessories, you get the articulated pair of hands, repulsor blast hands, relaxed hands, and he has fisted hands on him already. You get the battle damaged chest plate, which is similar, not quite the same, but similar to the Hot Toys version. And this is where you get some variation now. In the Hot Toys version, you get a diorama base. There's no diorama base. You get the Avengers base there. You get two additional chess battle damage parts which go above these two sections. And you get a couple of battle damage shoulder pads. I'll put those on a little bit later on so you can see how it looks. And I will show you this figure in the clean version now. When you see this next to the Hot Toys version, you can easily see there are differences. Namely, the gold on the King Arts version is pretty gold and slightly yellowy looking. The red paint app is significantly darker. It has similar features, but some differences, as I said, which I will point out. And the back has the same flaps at the top, which open up. This side here. This side. Here, here, and there. So you get four flaps that open. It is a nice overall figure. I think both King Arts and Hot Toys have done a great job on this 45. It just feels pretty solid and because it is one of the better looking suits that Marvel designed, I feel it's a great overall addition to your Iron Man lineup if you decide to pick up this particular line from King Arts. I'm going to show you the weight of this first and some of the features on the King Arts, then we'll go into the differences later on in the video. Let's start off with the weight of the King Arts Diecast 45. Put this on the scales, it's just under 350 grams. And then putting on the Diecast Hot Toys 1 in 6 scale, we're looking at around. Just under 820 grams, so significantly heavier. What I will do is work my way down very quickly on the King Arts version, just to show you some of the aspects of it. The light up part is on the helmet, you just lift that top flap up, moving down to the shoulder pads. There are spring loaded, if you can see that spring there. So that constantly stays pretty flush to the shoulder section. This pad comes off and I'll show you a little bit how that works. You can pull the arm out a little bit, a little pop sound, and then you get extra range of motion. 
usual pivots and the barrel moves as usual. Now getting to the chest, this is actually what I quite like, something completely different. If you notice here, it has two parts that open out. A bit like the Predator mouth or blade to the Reaper, sort of how that opens up. Chest plate comes off and I will show you something so you can see it's direct comparison straight away. The difference between the chest plate when it's open on this compared to the Hot Toys version, significant difference in the design. Don't know which one's more accurate, just difference in the overall look. Here's the King Arts version. Here is the Hot Toys version. Like I said, very different in design. So going back to the King Arts version, these little parts that open outwards, I think actually looks quite nice like that. For some reason, it just looks just a little bit different. These sections pop out, got to be very gentle because there's a little hinge that holds it together here. So just be wary of that. Don't break it, don't snap it. And it's just on a little tab and you can swap those out with the battle damaged sections. So I'll swap that out in a moment and you'll see how that all fits. Then moving down, you get a little bit of extension on the waist and you get the usual pivots, front ways, front, back, you get a twist as well like that. You get the side flap hinge and you can pull the legs straight down so you get a very high range of motion so you can easily do the splits with them, no problem at all like that. Usual pivots on the ankles, bit of movement and articulation around the toes. But there's one thing that I, I was a little bit disappointed by is that this is only around sort of 100 degrees or ni just over 90 degree bend on the knee. Doesn't go any more than that, I'm trying. Yeah, 120 degrees I think. But if you look at the Hot Toys one, that's got a huge range of motion on the knee. I mean, really large. That goes literally back on itself. That's, I'll call it almost a double bend knee. It's really, really high. So that's really good engineering on that aspect of it. So again, I think you can, when you hold them right next to each other, you can see instantly the difference in the color and the paint app is deeper and darker on the King Arts version. But I'll do a, a comparison look when they stand next to each other. So let's swap out some parts and see how it looks with more battle damage around the King Arts version. In videos that I've shown previously, make sure you go through the instructions manual when you get a figure. So to prevent damage, excessive force, where to articulate the figure, knowing where to put the batteries in, etc. So make sure you check that out. Next thing I wanted to show you is the difference in the chest plate between the two, the Hot Toys version and the King Arts version. This one, the large one, is obviously the Hot Toys version and you can see the battle damage is pretty different compared to the King Arts version. The design is also slightly different. The hexagonal design in the center is different. Paint app, different. Just a different design overall. And just to also add always use this tool, especially if you're changing up the shoulder pad section. What I found to be the easiest way is to find that little gap here, push this in and ease out the shoulder pad. Because it's on a spring, you don't want that getting damaged by using ex excessive force in the wrong place. So this is how the final look of a battle damaged Mark 45 is. With the King Arts version, the shoulder pads changed this additional chest plate that sort of opens outwards like that. And also the final chest plates in place. Nice overall additional look that you can have with him. There's no battle damage face plate, which it's missing. I, I would suggest if they put that in, that will be an, an 
a more complete version of the battle damage because they put in the shoulder pad, the side chest plates, which actually looks quite nice because it completes that slash mark or that sort of damage section there. But other than that, nice overall look. Let's check out how this looks compared to the Hot Toys standing next to each other. With the two Mark 45s standing next to each other, you can see the differences in height. The King Arts version is around nine and a half inches. And the Hot Toys version is around 12 and a half inches. Paint scheme, you can see immediately what I mean about the darker red on the King Arts version. Looking from this angle, it's a difference in that tone. And hopefully you can see what I mean about the gold slash yellow on the King Arts version compared to the slightly lighter colored gold. The face plate has a much more chrome effect on the Hot Toys version. Much more reflective looking compared to the slightly duller version on the King Arts. The suit is obviously very similar because it's the same armour, but there are some slight differences in the overall paint app. Slight differences in the design also, so I'm going to show you, point out a couple of these. Here you see some weathering here, here and around the groin section and the center. Let me get a little bit closer. The center section here. Whereas on the hot toy, on the King Arts version is much cleaner looking. It doesn't have those weathering effects apart from these battle damage parts. I've just pulled out on the hot toys version, the forearm weapon, if you remember, it comes out and can be used to attach the laser special effects and that closes up so it's completely flush like so on the King Arts version there isn't that particular feature this portion here doesn't come out there's no extra special effects for that laser With these two standing next to each other, hopefully you can see there are some differences between the Hot Toys version and the King Arts version. Apart from the size and slight design differences. There's definitely paint app, weathering and the overall look is slightly different. That's all I wanted to show you guys. Hope you enjoyed this quick video. Thanks for watching and catch you all at the next video.